I was working on data visualization in the virtual world. I came to a point in my life that I had to do a new project and I decided that the new project would be in a gaming engine in real time and the data would be streaming and it would be cybersecurity. And I started with some streaming visualization. It was a bar chart that would just flow. And I realized that if you put time into the screen, you could measure lots of different things on the same timeline and see it. And then I was going to have bars in perspective that you're looking down on and some you're looking up at. And then I was going to have four of them, so it would make kind of a tunnel, and then i just put it in a circle. And that is how the time well came about. Deep Node is a difficult to use, difficult to understand piece of software. The data it reveals, the situation it reveals, is difficult to comprehend and difficult to deal with. The purpose of building this thing is to create a new level of understanding a new level of performance that only happens when the computers present data in a rich way that is perceivable by humans and when humans practice with the interface and become skilled at it. When these two things happen, computers and humans meet in the middle to understand data in a rich environment. New capabilities are unlocked. Space that's going to point out a certain type of traffic. There. And now I'm going to create another one using a regex. All right, now I'm, I'm uh, making that bottom auto mark bot, so it's marking everything it finds.
its purpose is to allow a human to understand the reality of cyberspace. And the reality of cyberspace is actually quite frightening. Um, when somebody launches this software and sees the amount of traffic and the, and the mystery of the traffic flowing on just a single laptop, they become overwhelmed. But unless you become overwhelmed and begin to chip away at the mystery and understand what you're seeing, it will always be a black box to you. It will always be a mystery. This actually shows you the complexity that's there. I built the time well because I wanted to see what network traffic looks like. And I wanted anyone to be able to see what network traffic looks like. this timeline so that anyone can see the traffic on their network anytime. It's all there in its maddening complexity. then have tools so that you can pause time and we basically have a record back here now like a seismograph of everything that happened. So if I want to explore this particular traffic with 157.55.56.161 on port 40,032 I can look at the actual packets so Looks like some kind of persistent dialogue here. Interesting. So then what do you do with this? Well, this is showing you how little you know about the vast stream of chatter between your machine and whatever's out there on the internet. And in the time I had this paused, that much stuff happened. It's not your machine. Root is the the perspective. Root is the point from which everything that you're seeing is perceived. It's really a conceptual thing because we're looking at not just our machine or our internal network, which is the green nodes, 
we're looking at a bunch of stuff out there on the internet as well. If you really want to know if you're being hacked, you need to categorize all the communication on your machine. You need to check all your binaries to see if they're compromised. What we're seeing here is how much communication there is. And this is, this is just my laptop and whatever broadcasts are coming from the uh, network that we're on. Uh, what we're seeing is how much is going on that hackers can hide communication in. So we're really seeing the cybersecurity problem at this point. The investigative tools are here. You, I could actually take this traffic that I've captured in the well and I could systematically go through it and eliminate known good traffic and be left. Like, like suppose I'm not worried about anything that came from that. I'll just filter that out. Okay, this one, maybe uh, This guy right here, oh, I'm not worried about that. I know what that is. Filter. You could keep doing this and be left with the unknown unknowns. That's where you're being hacked. That's a lot of work though. So the, the hard truth, the harsh reality is very few people or organizations are truly secure. If we use AI to do the, the work that we've already figured out, at least to learn from us, so that when we start to filter things, the AI learns that those should be filtered and does it automatically in the future, we can greatly leverage our, uh, our knowledge and our activities. Um, no longer do repetitive tasks and always be presented with the remaining unknown unknowns because the AI has learned from us how to filter out the knowns. Uh, absolutely essential for security. Uh, I actually have a prototype AI here. I've hovered over the root node and that gives me this menu. I'm going to enable the AI. The first thing it's going to do once it uh, once it gets up and running, it's flagging everything as red because it hasn't seen it before. This is a um, unsupervised learning algorithm called Trout Mask that is proprietary to DeepNode. Uses artificial life to classify everything it sees. Everything starts out as red because it hasn't seen stuff like that before. After a while, it will learn these patterns and it will start to uh, see there it's already learned this right here. It's going to stop marking things red over time as it learns the stream. Once it has learned the stream, new things that differ on some dimension in some detail from what it has learned will automatically be flagged red. You can see it's learning some more stuff here. It's kind of cool because what I 
figured out when I got this AI working is that if I hadn't had the detailed visualization showing the data that I was trying to get the AI to learn, I never could have debugged the AI. I never could have gotten it working. Um, so I believe that there is a potential for much richer visualization in concert with AI and with, with human input to produce a new capability to, to raise the security level. It's still going to take work from people, um, but the AI will, will help a lot. And the, and the visualization, again, perhaps the visualization is not the solution, but the visualization is what enables people to understand the situation well enough to create the solution. You can see that the AI here is, has learned the majority of the traffic now. I'm going to prune this down there. Yeah, so now it's learned most of it. Um, something I didn't see. It's some IGMP. Interesting. Something different about that ARP. One of the, the crazy things about this, this environment that I built is I'm not even a, a good user of it. I didn't build it for me, actually. I, I built it for people probably younger than me who've spent much of their life using video games. They have some knowledge of networks. Um, I, I've noticed you, you put it in the hands of a gamer, which I'm not a gamer, um, and they navigate it and explore the space much faster than I do. Thank you.